Okay, so we were discussing previously the need for systematic empiricism, which is where we let our data determine whether our hypothesis has been supported or not. So I thought it would be fun if we illustrated that with some experiments that are really concrete and easy to measure and know whether we were accurate or inaccurate in our prediction. So I'm going to show you a video and they are going to be dropping pennies into water. And so what I would like you to do is in your mind right now, predict if you have a completely full glass of water, how many pennies can be dropped into that water before the water overflows the edge of the glass. So think about that, get a nice solid number in your head, and then let's watch this video and see how many pennies he was able to drop. Okay, well that was fun, wasn't it? And so we discovered that apparently a glass of water can hold a lot of pennies before it spills. Now what we're going to look at is a video where regular balloons, not ones that are filled with helium, but just regular air-filled balloons are hanging from the ceiling by strings. And air is gonna be blown between the two balloons. What do you think will happen? Make a prediction. Will those balloons move away from each other as a result of the wind? Will they move toward each other? Or will they both move forward as in away from the person who's blowing toward the balloons? So which way will the balloons move when air is blown between them? All right, get your prediction in your head and then let's watch this video. All right, so we discovered in that video that apparently when you blow air between two balloons, it pulls them together. And if you're really interested in that phenomenon, apparently it's called Bernoulli's theorem or something, and it's what allows air flight on planes. So interesting stuff. But anyway, let's move on. Our final prediction of the day. So in this video, the person is going to take a ruler and put it um, extending over the edge of a counter, and then they're gonna spread out a newspaper on top of it. And then they're very strongly and crisply going to strike that ruler with their closed fist. And you're going to predict what's gonna happen. Will the newspaper tear? Will the newspaper lift up? Or will the stick break? All right, make your prediction, and then let's watch this video. So what we've seen from these examples is that our predictions based on our pre-existing knowledge or our expectations are oftentimes faulty. So it's really important to make predictions ahead of time, collect data, and see what the data shows us about our hypotheses. 
Now, please don't be confused by what appears to be a YouTuber's setup that I'm currently sitting at because this is not mine. I am borrowing this so that I could do this compilation video for you. So don't expect more from me going forward. All right, I will see you guys in the next segment.